John, 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 have we got a very special edition of Footy Fanatics today? Have we? Yes, we are. We're celebrating. Are we? We're celebrating. Well, because we've come to go. We we're at Gore, we're at Hector's on the wall. Oh, right here, look at this. Wall. And we've got the bridge behind us, we've got the magnificent uh, Gore Channel here, the, the, the river runs straight through. Um, it connects up to the Kurong, goes, goes, goes to the Murray Mow. Goes to the Murray Mow. He's a school teacher, yes, you can tell, knows teach nothing. Geography. Hey, guess what though, it is very special because yep. we had a great weekend last weekend. Um, the Southern District Zone, which Great Southern Footy League is very much a part of. Yes. And um, Southern Districts. We won, John. We won. And yes. it wasn't the men. Oh, I know that. It's only I the know. women, the only ones that are holding up the, the women. And yes. who have we got with us today? Uh, we've got the brilliant Rachel Searle. Captain. The captain. Again. And Rachel, come on. Come on the down. Very good here. To your new car. What do you got there? <laughs> Rachel, that is not the pose we wanted. I saw a pose of you. You know, looking like you were celebrating in great style. Having a little bit of swig out of this What's cup. good. Yeah. Hey, how many beers does so that hold? Hydrated. How many beers does that hold? Oh, I don't know. I only got to put one can in. Oh, right. I only had one can for us after the game. Oh. <laughs> well, that's old, the tight president over there. Yeah, I'm glad you just stopped it tight. Yeah, the tight president. <laughs> yeah, we're very lucky we've got the president of the Great Southern Football League and the secretary of the Great Southern Football League, um, Terry Corcoran and Andrew Batten, here with us. And um, fortunately, they're that side of uh, the camera, which is, uh, makes our show even better, and not mean you people will stay on and listen to us. Yes. But hey, how good is the women? Like, you went through undefeated. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And you led the ruck, you made the team of the championships. Uh, 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 uh. In, the, in, in one of the, ga the final game, uh, you, you started at centre half forward, which surprised me. And, uh, yes. And uh, uh, Tess uh, took the ruck, yeah. and you nailed a nice goal, which. And I thought, I said to um, one of your boys from Gore, I said, uh, it was Rachel being crook, you know, because I love it when you're in the ruck because I always think something's going to happen. Yeah. You know, always tapping the ball on and knocking it yeah. on. And yeah, but Tess got a hand of the ball, but that, you would just push forward just to try and snag a few goals? No, that was just my decision to. I knew that the ruck they had playing for South East was a bit more solid, and I knew that Tess Huxtable was more of a running and jumping ruck, so yeah. I thought. Give her yeah. a chance to... Captain Coach! Absolutely, <laughs> stitch coach. her up! Take her up. <laughs> Maybe she should have got Coach of the Championships instead of the blokes who did! Oh, no, just... she was in the team of the Championship. Yeah, yeah. it does everything. Yeah. We just knew that when um, the South East main ruck wasn't rucking, I would go in and really control the contest around yeah. there. We got a few goals from when... No, it was good. I, watched, I, I did live stream it. Uh, I was sort of there in the heart. Yeah. Now, um, Maddie Bennett from uh, Southern... Uh, got player of the... Uh, yeah, the championship yeah. and Tamara Page from uh, Willie, uh, we're going to go goal kicker. Yeah. I really thought uh, your girl Kalani Bates was a bit stiff not to get uh, player. You know, I, I really like Maddie. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really like Maddie. I've watched her play at South when she was there, but uh, I thought Kalani, you know, just going on minutes yeah. with Moose's uh, calculations, she was. Uh, Probably the player of the championship. Yeah, she didn't even get in as the under 21 player of the championship. Yeah, I, I thought that was a bit strange. But yeah. I, I like Catrice Turner being in there, Amy Van Vincunas being in there, yeah. Kalani Bates, and Tess Huxtable made the and with yourself made the team of the championship. Yeah. So yeah. well done. So that's a big. It's a good rap for the girls again. Yeah, but I heard Tess Huxtable did turn it on. Yeah. And I've heard it from my grandfather Leighton. Oh, he was very, <laughs> very, very, very proud. Yeah. Leighton would have had every stat known to mankind. He and did. Womankind. And assisted with uh, Flurio Sun. Please yeah. get your copy, of Flurio yeah. Sun. Yes. Because we had our man there, our correspondent, Leighton Huxtable. Doing the reports on the women and the men, yeah. and also Peter Argent was taking the photos. So uh, we certainly make a good presence. So get your free race on, please. Now we better get on with the men. We want Rach to stay because we're going to get Rach to talk about the, uh, the women's games, the final round. Right. Uh, and there's some Friday night games yeah. coming up, so yeah. it, it, it's great. And if you're happy to stay and just yeah. listen to us. Well, uh, well Rachel was saying earlier just how much she follows us. Oh knows yeah. Our show <laughs> back to front. And, and I, 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 she <laughs> said all the girls from Gore are watching it. Yeah. 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 Now. She's, she's one of our <laughs> she's one of our two thousand followers. You just jumped and followed us up that hundred. No, a <laughs> hey, um, uh, my Ponga Selix versus Langon Creek, you know, and both Ponga Selix and Langon both coming off good victories uh, before we went into the, the bye, Michael. So. Yeah, well, this is going to be Langon Creek's chance if they want to be. They're still in the picture. 
yep. um, to grab, especially with Encounter Bay starting to falter at the moment. There is a spot, there's two spots there, there's four teams fighting for it. Langhorn Creek's one of them. My Ponga Selix, I think we can sort of agree, they're a lock. Yep. They're looking really good and genuine, you know, they're a genuine premiership contender at the moment. But Langhorn Creek, they're absolutely really starting to storm home. And, uh, you know, and Blackie, we know how uh, Troy Blackwell responds after playing rep footy. Yeah. He's going to go real well. Matt Dominish is a star. And the one I like is Mitchell Cleggett up forward. He is now starting to clunk him. He had an um, injury riddled start to the year. Yep. And now he's able to assist when you've got Kobe here, Caleb Howe. They don't have to be forward as much. So. And you haven't mentioned Darcy Clifford. You we'll always mention him. Yeah, well, I thought I'd give Darcy a bit of a spill. And but Kobe Helly. All played up there. Did I say Kobe Hill? Did, did you, did you say Kobe Hill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I just wanted to make sure of that. Hey, um, I'm going to make you feel involved. A bloke that I haven't heard much about is Cooper Gilbert from uh, my Ponga. Yeah. And he's uh, played a bit of footy at uh, Westie. So along with Tommy Carroll getting in the BPs oh. again. So Tommy uh, Carroll, he side. is the ace in the pack for the Mudlarks to get him in fresh as a daisy. Yeah. And Ben Kennedy's having a terrific year too. But who's your tip? Uh, Levi Proud. Uh, no, my t tip for this uh, one is this is going to be top. Uh, over there at my Ponga Selix, they're on fire. Uh, my Ponga, just. Yeah, all right. I think uh, my Ponga will win too. My Ponga Selix will win this game. Yeah, and big shout out to Ben Hutchinson. Sure. Yeah, she's gone again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Benny Hutchinson's had a few tools stolen uh, during the week, so Ben, I hope you've recovered your tools and they to go back to work. Okay, next game, can hardly see with these glasses. Strath versus McLaren. Whew! Yeah. Luke Mitten. Best in the year. Oh, congratulations to Luke. Yeah, he, Thank you. He's a beauty. Um, had a great championship. Although the men, we didn't touch on the men too much. Um, uh, yeah, well, mainly because yeah. we want to talk about the winners, women. which are the yeah, women, women. Yeah. and the boys. For the first time in the history, we finished sixth. I tell you what, so I think we really missed uh, Muffy from playing uh, from yeah. McLaren. So yeah, he's the soul and the spirit of that yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. And and Tonkin from Encounter that was a big. Uh, Callum Tonkin, Callum correct. Tonkin, so. Yeah, so the, the general feeling from the champions, we were just out muscled. And our bodies. So, um, but anyway, let's get back to this the game. Strath, yes, Strath. We were so disappointed in their effort at uh, Victor Harbour, weren't we? Yeah, they, but they've really got to bounce back. They need to take a big scout. Uh, they are another one in the pack trying to get um, a final spot. Um, you know, I think Ben Simmons is the real worry for um, McLaren to try and hold him. Uh, whether uh, hopefully Kuiper's back, fit and yep. firing. Um, I, I, Ash Goodison again as a key defender. Um, should be quite interesting to see how that pans out. Um, Mark Tucker's still playing really good footy. Um, so is Ozzy McFarlane at Strath, but um, I don't know, I can't see McLaren oh. dropping one. They, got, they are going to drop one. There are five games to go. They will drop one game before the season's over. Uh, okay, I'll quote you on that later, but McLaren for me, uh, easy here. Do you? Even, even over at Strath. Okay, Ma, Moyle, uh, Vandalore, they've got yeah. a lot of good pace, great depth at McLaren. So, um, yeah, I think McLaren will win. Rage? I reckon. I'll go for Strath, just for that's good. Strath at home, yeah. home ground. That's yeah. very good. You've got the cameraman happy. Yield the McLaren uh, don't normally play that ground very well. No. So there's no, a door. Right. Right. Even Bax has agreed that they don't play it well. Mm. He agrees oh, with that. Yeah. Okay. There's Terry, the said, Terry said that too. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yankalila coming off a of building versus Victor Harbour this week. It's probably not going to get any easier. Well, and I just want to pass on my, um, um, you know, like some guy who's really played really well. He's coached the club and really been putting his hand up every week. And unfortunately, he's got a serious injury, and that's Joel Kay. Oh, wow. Um, absolute superstar, Joel. I don't know whether you, you know him, Rachel, around the traps. He runs off the halfback flank. He gives his all for the Tigers. He's been there when they've sort of been up around the mark. Yeah. And, of course, they're struggling a bit the last couple of years, and he's still there, been working hard. But unfortunately, breaking his jaw at the end of his season. Oh, wow. So that's a big blow there, and yeah. uh, certainly something that the Tigers don't need to lose someone like him. Yeah. But, um, you know, they've still got some good young footy. Matty Wilson will continue to keep leading. And we love our Matty James there at the end. But it's not going to be enough to beat Victor. Uh, they're going, Zach Dowling's playing tremendous football. With, you know, the thing is with Damien Cross there at Victor, he can use Zach Dowling forward, back, wing. Yeah. Um, he just, or in the middle there. Um, and um, Zach's going very well. And, of course, Jesse McKinnon. Yeah, um, fresh from the... Uh, from the I don't think he's fresh. I think he's a bit sore. Yeah, yeah but... Um, uh, they'll have some fresh players. The ones I'm looking at are Elms, Big Bash and Heath Law, so they're going to uh, really enjoy that week off. Yeah. I tell you what, I, I've taken Bash to Loyola. Well, I don't, I, I don't know yeah. the selection details, John, we don't and neither do you, so no, you just can't no, throw that stuff. Shut up. There are a lot of people on that. I told him he's the first bloke I'd pick. All right. All right. So, for me, uh, Victor Harper. Yeah, Victor, Victor will win this one. Yep. 
they're big day. Okay. okay. Next game is in Camp Bay versus Mount Compass, and both of them Ooh. coming off uh, losses. Now, Mount Compass is going to be the side that will shape who makes the five. They can't yeah. make it now. Yep. Right, they're out. But the whole thing is they're such a tough unit yep. that they can absolutely decide who makes it. They beat in Canter Bay, they beat Victor, they beat Strath, or beat, um, yep. you know, uh, Langhorn Creek, whatever. That's certainly going to tip tip aside to one that they'll be wanting to tip. So this is going to be an absolutely crucial game. I like the way Grove goes about it. We've always swung, sung the praises of uh, Tommy Bitkunis. Yes. Um, Ziggy, of course, is an absolute superstar, and Klaus Simons. So whether the dogs can get a few more to chip in, but this is going to be a big game. It is at Encounter Bay. That's why I'm leaning towards the Bays, Rachel. Oh, yes. Um, Tarka, Davis, Neil, a lot of pit, uh, um, a lip at Williams Callum Tonkin will be fresh. All yeah. had good carnivals. So. Yeah. So uh, Lockie Williams is another one that will get yeah. boost from confidence. So I think this should be a, great, a very good game of footy, but I think the big round of Encounter Bay sways to the Bays. Yeah. Correct. Very good. Encounter Bay. Wollonga versus Gore now. Wollonga have just absolutely... Gore fought Elliot, John. Sorry. Uh, yeah, don't Gore forget. Fought Elliot. Yes, we don't just went the past blocks. the club rooms. Yes. And I think the girls are having their count there soon. For the, yeah, uh, Wednesday, uh, night. Wednesday night. Wednesday yeah. night. Yeah, already. You'll have to be there taking photos. Next Michael. Wednesday night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, no rest for the oh, wicket. That's right. I'll, 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 we'll, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be resting. I'll be an apology. Wollonga versus Gore. What can we say there, Michael? Well, Wollonga well, well, versus Gore Port Elliot. Yeah. Well, Wollonga, look, Gore Port Elliot, I think they've shown a lot of respect. See, Wollonga are playing Port Elliot this week. Did he say I was doing it? No, see, Wollonga are playing Gore Port Elliot this week. Michael. You take the last tip. Well, what I like about... Um, um, the demons is that they're not relying on the big fellas like Stanfield, Bass, Haskett yeah. to kick the goals. Like Rennie's popping up kicking yeah. goals. Darcy Scott's kicking goals. So they have got Hoffman kicks goals. They have got everyone in their football side that they can throw forward. It is prop. Well, no, I'm not going to say probably. It is the most versatile football side in the competition, and that's where they become dangerous. But um, how they uh, good reported it? They've proven over the last few weeks that they'll run with a side and just cannot do four quarters. Yeah. It is always one quarter yeah. that absolutely destroys them. And um, it, 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 you know, it would be a worry, but if I was at, um, at Magpies, I think you're putting in a very good base for the future yep. um, with a lot of the good young kids. And Carly has certainly fit yep. in very yeah. well there. And um, I just like the way they're working together as a footy side, a young group. And Michael uh, Kilsby yep. is doing a good job. It's not going to be very easy for them on um, on Saturday, coming off a 90-point loss to McLaren. Uh, I think uh, Wollonga will win this and win this. Easily. Yeah, Wollonga will do well. But what I like, Trent Griffin's going forward and enjoying kicking some goals. Yes, when forever he's been playing off half back or wing yeah. or whatever. Uh, De Conning's getting yeah. kicks. There's Bates who's going very well. So and you know, and Daniel Fry, well, he's one of the most highly respected footballers in the competition. Yep. So. Um, there you go. If you want to talk about someone who should play zone, yeah. well, he'd be one of the first players yeah, on the league too. So, yeah. uh, it is a different makeup of a team, but not to be, and I'm going for one, I'm going to win. I don't, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Rachel's going for a goal yeah, 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 go report at Their first game for the hey, What you can talk about is do you, do you enjoy Friday night footy when the girls play Friday night? Yeah, we had one game this year. Yeah, yeah. Victor Harley gets Yeah, well, I was there for that one. There was yeah. a big crowd in, and 7 30 Friday this week is Victor. Versus Ma and McLaren, then Luke Dunkley's playing afterwards in the club. So I think there'll be a few people there uh, on uh, Friday night, 7:30. Uh, Victor versus McLaren. Oh, this is uh, McLaren. Really are, you know, it's, it's Wollonga, McLaren, you guys, yeah. and you know, Yank, uh, not Frat. Yank, uh, Frat. Yeah. So uh, who would you be picking out of Victor and McLaren? I know who I'll be going for. Well, I think. Contrary to popular demand, it might even be Victor Harbour. They've got a few ring-ins from, you know, special permit players coming back now from the SANFL. Yeah. So I think if they're going to win a game, it's going to be the last one of the season. Uh, uh, even, yeah. Might even go for Victor Harbour at home. You never oh. know. Well, Rachel. I think I think Rachel's fired up McLaren, so I'm going to go for me. <laughs> you go for the Oh, McLaren. I'm going for Victor. Go on, go the race. <laughs> and at 7:40, also on a Friday night, there's another big game over there at Strath versus Mount Compass. So mm -hmm. that, that'll be another interesting one. And that, there's not much difference between those two sides. What I've seen yeah. throughout the year. No, Compass have really dropped this year. Yes. But yes. It's just the way it goes sometimes. With yeah. people in and people out. But I think. Strath with Tess sure Huxtable taken over in the ruck. Yeah, it might be too sure. strong she's there. Not too sore. Oh, oh, so. She was very. She's young. She's oh, she was not as sore as me. Uh, I know she was very concerned on that trip home the way Leighton drove home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ten forty on Sunday is the big one. Uh, 
this is the big one. Yes. Willander versus Gore with Port Ellis. Can you beat them? It's our chance to rattle their cage. Yeah. We can, we can. I know we can. We all know that we can. It's just whether we will. Is there any... Uh, could you coach your way through this and put Lucy Earl into the ruck, maybe? Then you play forward and maybe give yourself an opportunity sure. of kicking more goals. Yeah, well, um, Willander don't have the strongest ruck at all yeah. in the league. Yeah. So if, if it's a game to change things around, it's this one because I can, whoever goes into a ruck, I know that the Wollonga girls just read off of me. They just listen mm. to my calls and go for yeah, that. Yeah. They almost have a four midfielders in. Catrice, of Catrice would know what you're going to do. Oh, play. absolutely. And <laughs> she's a pain. She's a pain for sure. Might have to play opposite day or yeah. something like that. Hey, where will Jodie yeah. Hunt play, who made the, also made the team of the uh, carnival? Will she play half back for Wollonga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And Tamara Page will be uh, up forward, so... Four or wins, she played win last time we played against right. them, but yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Because yeah. he carries on like he knows everything about women's footy and he actually oh, does it. Oh, he just throws names in and then so you play there. I'm no, like, oh, okay. no, no, I'd go to most games, don't you worry about that. He was playing that. wing last, yeah. last time we played him, but ran forward and kicked like, most of their goals for them anyway. So. I don't like those 10-40 games. Are you, uh, are you a 10-40 player? Well, you've mm -hmm. got to be this week. I have to be, yeah. not yeah. really. I mean, it gives us time to get down to the wine bar, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to be a good game, and so, and this is the final round, and then it's uh, you right into finals. Mm -hmm. So it'll be uh, that'll be an interesting one to see how competitive you are against yeah. them. And, uh, mm -hmm. I, I love the moon. Now you've got both moons back. Yeah. You know, well, uh, you know, mother, moon, mother moon, I call her. Mother okay. moon's back. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> Yank had the bye, and Yank had the bye, and that's the end of the season for Yank. So Jay Parker's having Jay a Parker's having a time off. The, the Cheshire Hunt can she on that ball? No, no. Jay Parker will just sit at the front of Nino's looking at the workmen out the front. Very good. I think that's a good note. We'll see you at the football. No, no, no. We're not going off yet. We have to. No, Lily Baxter. Lily Baxter is playing in the Under-16 National Championships uh, from uh, Victor Harbour. Under-16 so or under Under-16. She's already done the other one. But she's playing in the Under-16 one. Now, Michael, this yeah, is what... Isn't there a girl from Tatachilla as well? Uh, not in this one. Right, okay. We've already talked about that one. Okay. No, don't, don't start... Uh, a tip for the medal. Yeah, a tip for the medal. Um, I think I said it... Um, did Catrice Turner play enough games? Uh, Catrice, oh, no. no, well, she played a uh, development squad for North, so maybe not. I reckon it will come from someone from Gore. What about the one on my left? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, uh, might that come from someone from Gore. Right. Do you talk to the umpires or something? Don't they give you votes? Royce, <laughs> <laughs> he loves no. you. He, he give you votes yeah. all the time. I talk to them, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've finally. Bats, I'm trying. He's trying. <laughs> I'm going away, Michael. Oh, that's right. I won this last <laughs> week at Victor Harbour Footy Club, and I said that no one would wear that anywhere. Well, I'm off to Darwin, and I will be wearing this everywhere I go in Darwin, and I'll be accepted. Okay, Michael. Where's Wally? <laughs> Where's Wally? <laughs> Rachel, fantastic to have you uh, on board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a circus. It's okay. I'll say it again. We'll see you at the football, and um, I'm sorry about it. <laughs>